someone important to you in your life. I'm talking mostly to the men out there. As many of you know, I lost my wife December 11th, 2019. And it has been the loneliest, hardest time I've ever, I could ever imagine. It's like, I lived alone before when I was a teenager and stuff. But it's so much different now. And I think you probably know what I mean. It's not really pain, it's just not knowing what to do with yourself, you know. Um, I try to do things to keep busy, but then I have those times, which is a lot. I just don't want to do anything. All I hear now in the house is the, the dog scratching <laughs> or one of the cats wanting outside. The occasional visits of my children and my grandkids. That's a highlight, but you know, I never thought I'd ever say it, but sometimes that gets on my nerves too because I'm not used to having kids around all the time anymore. It, it gets so lonely, but yet you only want to be alone. <laughs> I don't, I don't know how to describe it. It's like, there's things I want to say, but it all seems pointless, just meaningless. It's like my reason for living is gone. <laughs> as far as my family, you know, I, I don't hurt as much as I feel, how do I describe it, like empty, in, in that part of my heart that she used to occupy, just it's void now. You know? Yes, I have the Lord there. I'm not. I'm not talking about on the spiritual side. I'm talking about my wife. You know. Sorry for the camera jiggling so much. I do. I just don't know how to describe. Oh, that can't sleep very well at night because it's just me and the animals in the bed where she used to be. But we used to go to sleep at night holding hands and stuff. Like when we were riding in the truck and stuff, we used to hold hands there too. Just, uh, I want to say Never forsake the little fights that you have, the little spats that you have as husband and wife. It may seem pointless and so heart-wrenching at the time, but boy, you're gonna miss it. Someday when there, oh, there is a silence, no one to talk over the things you wanna do and to have them tell you that's stupid, you can't do that, we can't afford that. Um, you know, you can't have everything you want. Um, I don't know, just different things like that that your wife would tell you sometimes. It's 
choose my friend. We hardly ever fought, but what we did, we did. <laughs> I remember most of the time I would give in and I would take the blame for everything just to end the fight. I don't know if any other guys do that or not, but that, that's what I did. And now I've come to the point in this far along in my journey alone that some people are starting to look at me and make comments to me about, well, it's been seven months, you should be over this by now. You know, I've had comments made to me on friends' live streams and stuff like, yeah, yeah, yeah. It was just my wife. I just hope that when it comes your time, if it does, where you have to go through this, I hope someone is more understanding to you than you were to me. Um, maybe I made too much of it. So, that was my reality. And it still is. It would have been 35 years that we were married. I raised two children of my own and partially raised another one that wasn't mine. There's a lot of water under that bridge. You don't understand it. It's, we went through two bankruptcies together. We went through the, the death of her parents. Um, all the, the hardships that couples go through. How do you just say in seven months, just sweep that under the rug, it's, it's time for you to get over it now. You've been dwelling on this for too long. Well, it's never too long. You deal with it the way you deal with it. However long it takes you to deal with it. And don't let anyone tell you any different. I'm not. It's like, I'm going to do everything in my own speed, in my own way, the way I feel like doing it. Nobody likes it. That's too bad. That's your problem, not mine. And make sure, especially now, whatever you do in life, make sure you make a difference. Leave something behind for others. That's what I'm trying to do. Thank you all for watching, and I hope this helps someone. My brothers that are going through the same thing.